We like old adverts. Hello everyone and welcome to We Like Old Adverts. It does exactly what it says on the tin. We love old adverts, we hope you do too. And if you don't, we don't care, find another YouTube channel. My name's Joe Deeney, I'm joined by Jim Campbell and my brother Connell Deeney. Yeah, if you'd like to send us in a little video, by all means give us a suggestion of the advert you'd like us to review. Send a little video of about 15 seconds and we'll see if it's good enough to go on. We're going to start with our first one. It is all the way from the United States of America. Whoa. And it's a suggestion from my good friend, Amanda Leet. Uh, I asked her, hey, when you were growing up in America, which crazy adverts were out there? And she immediately gave this one and the next one. So let's have a look. You worked too hard, you ate too much, the cheesecake made you greedy. Let your aching head and stomach hear this message from old Speedy. Alka-Seltzer, plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. Those speedy bubbles relieve your upset stomach and headache fast. For acid indigestion alone, Alka-Seltzer Gold. Oh, what a relief it is. What a relief. So thanks for that, Amanda. This is so hard for, you know, anyone animating anything in the 70s to not make it look evil. Mm. Yeah. He looks yeah. evil. What a way to, <laughs> to shift the hangover. Pedophobia is a horrible little terrifying child. Why has yeah. he got a wand? His body's made of an Alka-Seltzer. Let's not forget that. That grin, the devilish grin. His hands are massive. They're like that. Yeah. He's got that wand thing. He's... Yeah. He's I really got magic, isn't he? You can imagine waking up with him on your chest. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't believe it is. There's a real like smug section where it sounds like the voice actor is having such fun. I don't know, male, female, whatever. But, uh, they're going, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, I don't believe it. Yeah. yeah. When's it from? What era is it from? 70, mid, uh, mid 70s. But it's clearly harking back to a 50s like yeah. mascot. Because my little uh, ears pricked on who that might be. I can never be sure, it can never be proved. But I think that that's the same actor as the person doing Martin from Simpsons. You know, no, it yeah. is. Sounds exactly the same as him. It was a 15 year gap though. From yeah. the very... people, are, people live longer than 15 years, you know. <laughs> they do. Yeah. It's a fan theory. Yeah. <laughs> it's now. yeah, you've it usually is. been quite good with those, Con, but you're so far off the mark. L you this. listen back, embarrassing, very now. embarrassed. I'll cut this. <laughs> <laughs> cut that as well. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. I'm not going to say that the song's not without its charms. No, flop, flop, fizz, fizz. Oh, <laughs> what a relief like it. it is. The actual. The story behind this is, is mad because this song was apparently very popular because Sammy Davis Jr. did two versions of this, like a sort of kind of like Motown one and a, and a kind of more rocky one. Motown uh, one? Albums. Yeah, I believe so. Um, and also in 2007, Alka-Seltzer hosted a Battle of the Bands competition, a nationwide Battle of the Bands competition to find someone to do an updated version of this on the Super Bowl advert. Just why? How much, how much aspirin do you have to sell to, make, to, like, to, to break even on that? <laughs> that is such a ridiculous idea. Like, trying to get people behind the brand of Alka-Seltzer. I can't imagine who it's for, but let's yeah. have a little look at that very Super Bowl advert. Alka-Seltzer, 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 Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer. Relief never sounded better. I don't know what's in it, but it starts working in a minute, yeah. How to ruin music in 30 seconds. It's that just... is the worst thing I've <laughs> ever seen. Why are they holding Alka-Seltzers up at the end? Like, oh, I, get it. Yeah. I get that you're selling it, but that's just not working for me. Oh. Blah, blah, fizz, fizz. Oh, oh, oh. God, bad. I prefer a hangover. Mm, yeah. Definitely. I mean, why are they even targeting people with hangovers and stomach upsets or whatever it is with music? It's the last thing you want. 
Yeah, yeah, and especially yeah. Hootie and the Blowfish over here. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Dave Everyone's gone on a night out with an upset tummy, like that. Oh, I don't think I'm up for tonight, but there's 2,000 of them in there with a glass of Alka Seltzer each. Do you, not go out with, do you not go out with an Alka Seltzer? <laughs> I don't even think I've ever had one. Yeah, I've just seen it and I thought, I'll live with my hangover. Yeah, whatever. exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll be fine eventually. Yeah. So, oh, what a relief it is that that dog shit's over. <laughs> So let's move on to the next one. As promised, it's another suggestion from Amanda Leet, and it's another American one from her childhood. This one's a bit of a different tack. Let's have a look. I just came from a rummage sale, Madge. I was wondering where you got these hands. Oh, it's (laughs) dishwashing. What'll I try? Everything. And use palm oil dishwashing liquid. It softens your hands while you do the dishes. You're soaking in it. In dishwashing liquid? (laughs) It's palm olive. Mild? More than mild. Makes loads of suds at last. And no kidding, palm olive softens hands while you do the dishes. Madge, mm-hmm. palm olive's as good as gold. I better get these to Fort Knox. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I hate Madge. She's so patronizing. <laughs> yeah. Such a rude yeah, woman. I hate Madge. <laughs> I like, she's talking about how soft it is with that really coarse Bronx accent. Yeah, yeah. it's the softest thing you're ever going to put on your hands. I also love the, the, the general vibe. It's like, oh, I've just been to a boot sale. I can see your hands look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, it's, she says a rummage sale. Yeah. Now, I've been to America. Man. Don't they call it a flea market over there? What the hell's a, does she mean a car booty? Is that what she's talking about? Possibly. I don't know. Why don't you just say that then? I, can't, I went she's to a car on, boot sale she's in just Croydon. Been on Rob. <laughs> she's just been on Rob around someone's house. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what uh, you do at a manicurist? Put your hand in a bit of washing up liquid? Let's just use no. I, I'd be surprised if that's actually the case, but then I've never been to a manicurist, so I might be completely wrong. Yeah, me neither. It's the talking to each other that puts me off. I won't want to sit down and talk to Marge for t- two hours. I don't know how, how long it takes. Especially if the whole time she's just hawking, washing up liquid. I'd be yeah. fuming if she was on that. That's on my quid, I'll have you know, Marge. Yeah. An I'm insult from the off as well. A bit less of this and a bit more of this, all right? Yeah. I mean, if I'd be absolutely fuming if I'm paying her to give me a manicure and she just dips my fingers in <laughs> washing up liquid. Surely that's not part of the, that's surely not the, the job, service. Surely the is better than that. I pass those Korean manicurist things all the time and I've never seen someone with fairy liquid. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that last gag, the Fort Knox one, yeah. is really weak. Oh. It doesn't work. Palm olive is as good as gold. That expression refers to like a wholesome endeavor, you know, someone's wholesomeness and their willingness to be good in the world. She should yeah. have said that palm olive is worth its weight in gold, and the joke would have worked fine. I mean, it's not funny, but at least it would have made sense. Oh, palm olive's good as gold. I'm not asking about its moral content, mate. I don't like their relationship, but clearly Madge is, is, has taken this young, innocent, ingenue under her wing. Ingenue? Um, one of them. <laughs> um, and, um, You've only from, seen that written down, haven't you? I do yeah, that all the time. Yeah, completely, completely. For a long time, I thought the word segue was Sieg. Uh, for like a long time. Um, under Sieg would be a great film. <laughs> But yeah, so she's clearly like, she's taken this, this unnamed lady under her wing and is trying to sort of like show her the, you know, the, the ways of, of, of adult life. And I, I, think, I think Marge is a dick. Like she's just, she's just gonna lead her astray. She's gonna make her dullard, frankly. Yeah. But she's got her in at the nail salon, so. Yeah. You know. She's just got to put up with her nonsense, I suppose. Yeah, as we all do. So thanks for those, Amanda. We, uh, your childhood in America sounded hellish. But uh, yeah, let's move on to our third and final advert. It's going to be for a product very close to Connell and my heart. Here it is. I'm more alive than ever before. I've been to my Commodore before. My friends are knocking down my door to get into my Commodore 64. It's mind boggling. Commodore 64 lets you play hundreds more games than any video machine, plus draw, program, even do music. I'm more alive than ever before. And my friends are knocking down my door. Cause now we're into so much more. We're into our Commodore 64. That advert has the lot. 
Doesn't it? It's so good. So that was actually requested by Martin Conway. So Martin, thank you for that. But isn't, yeah. isn't it? I'd not seen it before. It's just there's a whole world in it. I love like. Is it? I'm more alive than ever before. <laughs> when, like, when I'm into my Commodore 60. I love that. That's quite poetic, really. And also, you've got all these things in the in the bedroom, like his acoustic guitar, yeah. and his dartboard, and all these things he's now abandoning to just sit in yeah. front of his computer. I don't think he's as as alive to be honest i like the idea i am so alive now i've got this commodore 64 at no point did they show him he puts his sunnies on puts a cassette into the little thing and presses play and it takes <laughs> five minutes going <laughs> <laughs> to load any kind of to load monty on the run which is one of the best games ever made by the way It's got everything a kid could ever want from an app. I love neon. It really creates this idea of what a brilliant time you're going to have. And all, all of a sudden, people are going to start using you uh, because you've got a Commodore 64. It's all these people that don't there. really like you are just yeah. going to come around your house. They're knocking, knocking down, down his door. door. Yeah, thanks, Con. Right? They've got computer games, rebellion, dancing, babes, racial diversity, dragons, the military, karate, and rock and roll. It's like and a Wagnerian Gesamtkunstwerk. Find me another YouTube channel that's referring to that. <laughs> and it even do music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do music, go do some music. You've got a guitar, you lazy sod. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear an album made on a Commodore 64. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the kids dancing in the background? Like the best time. It's like Studio 64. Yeah. Hey, nice. nice. Cheers, C64. Mate. I was up till about three writing that, so I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. You're very clever. That's my brother, everyone. <laughs> Connell and I were uh, very proud owners of a Commodore 64. Oh, really? Back, back yeah. in way were back when. people knocking down your door? <laughs> yeah, but... Did you say that? No. It was oh, just that woman from the that. Palm Olive advert trying to nick a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> so getting away with it because we were busy watching the loading screens for 45 <laughs> minutes or whatever. A, a big rough hands were just like... Yeah, the police knew exactly who it was from <laughs> just the fingerprints. Oh, these are very rough prints. But even as partisan old nostalgia junkies like us, we cannot pretend that the graphics looked anything like them neon cartoons that were flying off the screens. Yeah. Part of the game was trying to guess what the sprites were. It's like, is that a helicopter? Yeah. I think it's a baby. <laughs> yeah. It's whatever. It's <laughs> just Flimbo's quest. Just enjoy Flimbo's quest. <laughs> yeah, because the one kind of hint of what the graphics look like is in stark contrast to the rest of the app, isn't it? <laughs> Does not look like those fighter jets flying out the window. No. Brilliant advert that. That was uh, show a single cassette tape on it either, which is what the games mm. were. Yeah. So why would you? Why would you? If you're trying yeah. to spell the thing, you probably don't mention that. There was a lot of gear that went into a Commodore. Yeah. You needed a screen, joystick, a keyboard, a joystick, and a cassette player. Yeah. Too much oh, stuff. Fantastic. Much fantastic. Stuff. Adam's family, creatures, creatures two, Monty on the run, Dizzy Egg. Oh, Dizzy Egg. Would anyone mind if I got an erection? Would that be okay? <laughs> You're a bit like a dizzy egg, aren't you, Joe? <laughs> so that is We Like Old Advert. Where everybody knows I tell you what, that advert felt like a Jaeger bomb. It's a yeah. Jaeger bomb of an advert, that. And yeah. I feel great. I'm about to go out. Yeah, should we <laughs> do it? feel fantastic. Let's wrap that up there. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching We Like Old Adverts. We've had a gorgeous time, haven't we, darlings? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, enthusiasm from my co-host. So, yeah, if you want to <laughs> leave a comment, by all means, do that. Subscribe to us. That goes a long way to helping the channel grow. We could do more exciting things. Like us on Facebook. Just, you know, do what you want, mainly. But mainly do what I just asked. Uh, yeah, I've been Joe. Connell, Jim, have a great one. And we will see you next time for some more adverts. Bye!